This here is Tiktaalik rosea, a creature we described in 2006 that had a combination of features of both limbed animal and fish. Like a fish, it had scales on its back and fins with fin webbing. But like an early limbed animal, it had a flat head, head with eyes on top, and also bones that corresponded to our upper arms, forearms, even parts of our wrist. What was missing was the back end of the animal. So a, an utter puzzle was, really, what's going on with the hind end? Well, it turns out, in 2004, we brought home several blocks of this animal. And of this particular specimen here, there was another block in the back that, that waited to be prepared in the laboratory. It contained the long missing hind end of the animal up into the base of the tail. This block was associated with this specimen here, so this is the hind end of it. And what you have in it are a series of ribs that lead up to the hind fin, and a hind fin itself right here. There you can see the fin webbing right there. We can definitely tell that the hind fin is really huge. So it's not this tiny, small appendage, which we thought it would be. It's giant. The real surprise was in the pelvis, and this is the pelvic bone here. The pelvic bone is the bone that supports the leg bones uh, at the hip in tetrapods and the hind fin uh, in fish. And what was really surprising was just how large this thing is. It's giant. To give you a sense of how giant it is, the pelvis of this animal is the same size as the shoulder right here. So it's very clear from understanding these bones that the hind appendage was already being emphasized in the transition uh, to, to creatures with, with limbs. Now you can ask why that's important. Why that's important is what we thought before was that the hind appendage was a really tiny component of the body of animals like these and really got emphasized as you went to limbed animals like tetrapods. Turns out that the size of the hind appendage is already large in fish and that a good chunk of the transition has already happened in fish before the origin of tetrapods. So all these facts together allowed us to make a new reconstruction for the animal. And so here you have the body. There's the front fins, there's the hind fins. And so we put these in at the size which we're able to infer from the specimen. And look at that, they're really whopping. So this is clearly a fin that's playing a role in moving this animal about, in supporting it in water, and maybe even on land. What we like to think is that this fin is, is capable of walking underwater on the bottom and also serving as a large paddle to propel the animal.